great morning to those who are tuning into this uh, video today, this devotion, this short prayer. Um, I pray that it blesses you as I continue to provide content that builds you up spiritually and preaches this gospel uh, to the ends of the earth. Um, today we're going to be talking briefly about a topic, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Open relationship, uh, a true relationship, true love as opposed to forced religion. True love as opposed to forced religion. You know, I believe that we do have a real enemy in this world and, and he is Satan. He is the devil, right? Who was cast out of heaven because of his pride. And he was thrown down to earth by God because he thought he could exalt himself higher than God. And he is jealous of, of you. He is jealous of me because we are God's greatest creation. And we are made in God's image and likeness. I believe that. It's not up for debate. We can dispute that from the word of God. That is fact. We are God's greatest creation. That being said, if we are God's greatest creation and he is jealous of us, he does not want to see us uh, prosper, succeed. He does not want to see this gospel preached. We were born into sin because of our own faults, our own mistakes, because of falling to temptation uh, f f from our, our, our forefathers, from Adam and Eve, right? Born into sin. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, the Bible says. But yet still, we were given a chance at redemption. See, God sent his one and only son, Jesus Christ, who is a part of himself, who is God himself. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the three in one that was there from the beginning. Sacrificing a part of himself to take away the sins of the world and all we have to do is freely give our lives to him freely accept him and start walking in that path and in that direction john three sixteen says for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but shall have everlasting life all i'm saying to you today is if you feel that that you need saving because you know you're you're not perfect which no one is perfect right only god is only god is perfect only god is good if you know you need saving even if you don't know you need saving i'm here to tell you today number one you need saving number two there's a savior his name is jesus christ he died and resurrected for your sins so that you can come to the father god through him and all it takes is accepting him into your heart today and number three, he gives you a chance and he does not force his way into your life. So many times in religion today, and as I said, the enemy does not want us to be saved. So he tries to blind people with forced religion. There are many nations of the world today that have forced religion, such as Islam, such as Hinduism in certain parts of the world, or, or such as Buddhism, whatever it is that they force the people to believe. If there's truly a loving God, he would give you a chance knowing that there is an aspect of free will on this planet where we can make our own choices. True love is serving or doing something for someone out of free will, not out of forced action. If you love someone, you will do something for them out of that free will, out of the goodness and the compassion of your heart. How much, how much better is it? To have someone do something for you just because they want to, not because they're obligated to. That is one of the best feelings in the world. And it's what God wants from us. He wants us to come to Him. The, the verse I have up on the screen says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Jesus is standing at the door of our hearts every day and just knocking, asking if He can come in not forcing himself in. He might give you a subtle reminder. Maybe you've had a chance to walk by a church recently, but didn't step foot inside. Maybe someone has told you about Jesus, but you just said, no, I don't believe in that. I rather believe in nothing. I believe in the things that don't make sense, that everything came from nothing. And I'm not poking fun today, but in a way I am. Because scientifically and logically, that doesn't make sense. Oh, I believe in this because my parents believed in this, but you never seek out the truth. Oh, I'm doing this just because I think it's the right thing to do. I encountered someone within the last 60 days. I can't remember the exact day, but I, he said he wasn't born into sin. 
But he makes mistakes every day. He's not perfect. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. How can you say you're not born into sin? You're not God. We all have sinned and we need saving. And once we're saved, we should no longer be sinners. Will we sin? Possibly we may slip up. But 1 John 1, 9 says, if you, if you confess your sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us from all unrighteousness. That's a backup plan just in case you mess up. Love covers a multitude of sins. So if your religion teaches that, you know, you need to do X, Y, Z to be saved and you need to, to, to live a right life and you need to do more good than bad. And if you don't do that, it doesn't sound like a loving God to me. It sounds like a rule-based religion. And at the same time, Christianity, as people would call it, I would like to call it a relationship with God, not the religious side of Christianity that we feel. It's not just about following rules. It's about doing the actions out of love. It's about doing the actions because you have a relationship with Jesus Christ, because you know this God that you serve, because he knows you, because you have daily communication with him, because there is proper evidence for the existence, because there is proper proof of the love of God in your life, because you can feel that love. If someone were to walk up to you and you were married and tell you, oh, I don't think your husband or wife is real, you would just laugh at them because you know what you've experienced. You know the love that you felt. In the same way, if someone were to walk up to you and tell you, oh, I don't think your God is real, you should laugh at them because you know the experiences you've had with God. All I'm saying today is Christianity should present an opportunity for a relationship with the divine God. And if you're listening to me today from another country, maybe from another nation, maybe uh, from another religion, please. And if you're still listening and you've, if you've taken offense and you've come off, well, you don't even hear what I'm saying. But if you, if you have an open heart or an open mind right now and you're listening to this and you're saying what you're saying it's making sense to me that if we do have a God that loves us and we are his greatest creation, that he would give us a chance at redemption and true relationship and communion with him. And if that's you today, I want to let you know that Jesus Christ is giving you a chance. He's standing at the, 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 the door of your heart and he is knocking. He's saying, if you open up this door, I will, I will come in. I will have that relationship with you. I will sup with you. I will have that fellowship with you that, I, that, that, that was designed from the beginning. So I encourage you today, even if you think there's 1% of truth in what I have said, give it a chance. Give God 1% of your trust and let him earn the other 99%. If you have questions, concerns, comments, contact information will be in the description below. Please feel free to reach out. Please feel free to reach out. Amen. Let's pray and then we'll continue with getting more content on this channel. Father, we come to you in no other name but the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we worship you, for you are holy, you are worthy, and there is none like you. We give you thanks, we give you praise for the life that we have, for the breath in our lungs, for the health and the strength in our bodies and in our bones, that you have given us life, that every breath within us would praise you and worship you, Lord God. We thank you today for what you have given us. We thank you for being a faithful God, for being a provider. Lord, for those who have listened to this video and need salvation, those who have decided to, to say, you know what, I want to open up my heart today. Help them to come to you. Help them to come to you. Help them to come humbly. Help them to come with an open heart. Help them to come giving you a proper chance, Lord God, that they won't just play a game of, of trying something and not knowing if it works or if it doesn't work, but they will come to you giving you a chance to save them and to redeem them. 
Lord, show them your love. Show them your grace. Show them your mercy. Expose to them the things from your word, Lord. Expose to them the things that you would want them to understand and, and be ministered to from, from your divine and holy word. Place in their lives the right people, the right mentors, Lord God. That they would find a good Bible-based church, Lord. That they, that, that they would not be deceived by, by, by the things of this world, by the blinders that the enemies try to place on them. They will not be, 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 be a harm by the fiery darts that he tries to throw at them. That every giant in their life must go. That every mountain that, that prevents them from serving you must be moved in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, and if they don't have the faith yet, I speak in faith for them right now. That a miracle would happen for them right now. That a breakthrough would happen for someone under the sound of my voice right now. That whether they be saved or not, that Lord God... You are a miracle working God and that you would move mountains, that, that you would pull down strongholds on their behalf, that you would rebuke the devourer for their sake, that they would follow you truly and wholeheartedly, that they would have that relationship that you have designed for them to have between God and man, that Lord, they will give you all of the glory, all of the honor and all of the praise and live their life long upon this earth worshiping you. That you would bless them today as they bow their heads in prayer. As they have listened to this short word, Lord God. Lord, let this word reach the nations. Let this word reach many people. Lord, whether they come with hostility, let it go forth. Let your gospel be preached so that they can make their decision to have a true relationship with you. As opposed to having a falsified sense of religion. Lord, bless them today in the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. If you're one of those who have decided to give God a chance, to give Jesus a chance, I encourage you, start reading your Bible. Please reach out to me. My number is in the description below. My email, my information is there. Leave a comment below if you're one of those people. And I will reach back out to you, getting you some information that you need. I will, I will make sure to send it to you at no cost if, if that is the case. And, 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 and we will get you started on this journey to, to knowing the true Jesus, to having a true relationship with God, because that is what he has designed for you to have with him. True relationship and not forced religion. God bless you all. Take care. Goodbye.